morning everybody welcome back my name is sandra and today we're going to do another week of planning so today is thursday november 16th we are just over half the month um, again i can't believe this month is going by so quickly um, it is what it is but i just i can't believe time is flying by so fast so um the next week of planning is already the 20th to the 26th i mean that's crazy to me. So if I go to my weekly, I'll be able to tell for sure, but the 20th to the 26th. Here we are, right here. Okay, so that is my week I'll be decorating. And um, first step is I go by my task cards, which are on my monthly divider, to pull out the weekly one. So the first step is to review my previous week. So I do that by going to my dailies. And I usually go from the previous Thursday when I did my last plan with me. So that's what we'll do. Okay. Um, so last Thursday, I filmed a plan with me and I finished it. So yeah, so that was good. So I got everything done. You'll notice I didn't really put that much extra on here except for edit a makeup video, which I didn't do. Still haven't done that. And I need to because I'm running out of videos for my makeup channel. Um, <laughs> but uh, yeah, so that I'll be doing that soon. But you can tell like, you know, I was I had nothing here. Again, I didn't put this on my planner and I don't know why, but we did go to karaoke. Um, at eight o'clock on Thursday because Friday we were heading to Red Deer. Okay, so Friday um, I still planned in the morning, but and I paid the bills, but there wasn't much that I could do um, because we were driving. So, and then we went to Red Deer, we had a pretty good time. We went to one brewery, we went to Belly Hop on Friday night, and then Saturday we went to the Legion. So, there's not a whole lot to like talk about here. Um, Saturday I did all of my journaling stuff because I take it with me. I did my expenses and then I didn't get my IG stuff done. Sunday we came home. So that was kind of busy. It was very busy in the evening because, um, I ended up doing the grocery shopping when we got home and we didn't get home till six. So it was a very late night. And I remember the one, one incident that I had, we went to Sobeys and the deli shut down at uh, they said nine o'clock. So the deli was supposed to be shut down at nine. So that means to me that the deli should be open till nine if it closes at nine. But the girl was in there at 835. She said they were closed. And I said, but you just said you were open till nine. And she said, but I'm closed for cleaning. So I went to customer service. I, I know the people that work there. So I said, it's 835. She shouldn't be closed yet. Um, technically, in my opinion, the manager should be paying her till 930. So the deli stays open till nine. And then they use from 9 to 9.30 to clean. Or if they want to shut it down at 8.30, then the deli is closed at 8.30 and then she cleans from 8.30 to 9, right? So they need to make their um, their message a little bit more clear there. But that kind of bugged me and it kind of made me mad because I worked at Sobeys for 16 years. I know how the system works and it just pisses me off. <laughs> um, okay, Monday. Monday, I was very... Um, I was very productive. I got everything on my list done. I just realized I forgot to cross off the last two things. Everything was done. So it was my journaling day, transferred my blog, did all of my IG stuff, did a few things at home. But yeah, very busy. So I did all that. And I actually got a really late start too, because remember, um, my son was still on fall break. So he didn't go back to school till Wednesday. So we slept in. Um, my kids being home, like all three of them, was nuts. Um, Monday, Tuesday, crazy. I didn't get anything done Tuesday. Um, very unproductive, completely different day. As you can see here, I was supposed to write my blog and I didn't, I did not get it done. And that made me mad. Um, so yeah, um, I did, what day is it today? Yeah, I didn't get my, did I get my Hope Nietzsche done? I must've, but I wanted to do my bedding and never got that done on Tuesday. And then come Wednesday, I did, um, I actually, I did my Hobonichi. I wanted to do my cuticles, didn't get time to do that. I didn't goal set, I'll have to do that tomorrow morning, which is Friday um, for December. 
I didn't work on sticker design, but I made one planner charm and I didn't get to my business journal. So my business journal I've deemed to be this little guy here. It is, um, I can't remember what the brand name is. Oh, in Ecolo journal right here. I got it off of Amazon and it's cute and small and goes with my business planner because my business planner is black um, and the cover is soft. So it's like kind of got a really good feel to it. I like the paper and it's just like, you know, kind of like a business journal, how I'm feeling about my business, what I feel like I could do better, what I did good, you know, um, things that I accomplished in the day. So that's all that is just so I can look back and see my progress. Technically, I would start at January, but I'm kind of like, I don't do that. Like, I don't wait till New Year's resolutions or New Year's days or whatever. I just, I just go for it. I just do it. Because if I do wait, I would never get it done. So that's, that's my, my advice to you is that there's no such thing as waiting. Just go and do it. You don't have to wait for a specific day. <laughs> okay. So yeah, no stickers, but I'll show you the charm. I only made, well, I made two, but I made two, but I'm going to um, put them as um, unlimited because I have a whole bunch of these. And the problem is I had to make them by themselves because this yellow of gold didn't go with any of my other planner charms that are gold. So um, I'm making, trying to make Christmas planner charms. I'll be making some more tomorrow and I definitely need to work on my makeup videos. And I also need to make stickers because I've been, it's one of the things I just keep getting put by the wayside. Um, I hope you can see that. They're cute. They're little snowflakes. So if you like gold snowflakes, I've got them listed on Etsy and on my website. So that was done. Um, I did my bed sheets. I did five loads of laundry yesterday, got all that done. And then I was in the middle of watching Planners Anonymous video. So they are switching up their sub box for next year. And I'm just determining whether it's still worth it to stay because it's completely changed. It's not the same. Um, I'm afraid that the stickers aren't going to look the same, but I'm interested. I'm like, you know, I'm one of those like, hmm, need to know what it looks like before I, you know, commit to a purchase. But at the same time, it looks pretty good. If I was to get everything, there is a slight price increase, but not terrible. Like maybe 20 bucks, maybe 25 bucks, maybe. Um... But that would be like the double sticker pack. And I don't think I need a double sticker pack because um, I'm just going to count how many stickers are in the kit right now. I hope my baby stays sleeping. So there's two stickers that come with the main kit. So let's count those. So that's two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. Okay, so there's fourteen, and you can get the quarterly sub too. I don't know how much that costs, um, but that would give you more stickers. So they give you they offer sixteen pages of stickers in a folder every month, but then you can also get at 15 or 16 pages every quarter to kind of beef up your planner and like fill it up so if you guys are ordering planners anonymous or thinking of it they are changing the subscription box in january so it's going to be different than what i've showed in the past and i'm still not sure how i feel about it haven't decided um i think it's a good move for them because i always think that change is good but i'm i'm not sure how i feel i honestly i'm, I'm not sure so, okay, so now that this really isn't on my my task card, because next is review goals, but I do just have to talk to you guys a little bit because a few changes have happened, just a few things I want to talk about. So the first one is I have been preparing for my new year. Uh, most of my things are ready. Um, I have, <laughs> I'm so excited for my Christmas setup and I'm so excited for my January setup. So I already have binders picked out for December and January. I have all of the dividers, not dividers, but well, yes, dividers, but also dashboards and a whole bunch of goodies like that ready to go. And my planner charms are all picked out, like a whole bunch of stuff is ready to be picked out. 
And there's a couple of things I needed for January. that um, I had to purchase. So one of them, I'm going to get back into using these, um, show you what they look like here, glitter edgers. So these are from the Planner Society and I ordered a couple different colors to go with my January setup. So can you guess which one that I used for my Christmas setup? And here, here's the thing is last year for my Christmas binder, I was so unhappy with it. I used the red Reese binder. I was so miserable with it because I just used my dividers from Michaels to save a little bit of money. And this year I'm not, I never spent over much either. I didn't like go to town or anything, but I made some glitter edgers with the red. Okay. So, um, my December setup is probably going to be a longer than usual video and I'll explain how I made stuff and I'll explain where things are from. Um, I'm really excited about it. It's going to be so good and I love it and I'll talk about everything because I'll even explain where I got the binder from. So excited and um, it's coming up pretty quick because really we've got halfway through the end of the month and I'll be filming that video probably starting on the 29th because it's posting on, I think it's posting on Friday, which is the 1st of December. Um, so yeah, really excited for that one. And you guys are going to love it. You guys are going to love the video. So excited. I've got so many Christmas stickers too. So I'm going to actually cross off film plan with me because we are doing that right now. Oops. Um, and then, so yeah, so planning a few things. So as you can see, I was writing down some notes here. Um, the Jeffree Star Scorpion launch was yesterday, right? So Planners Anonymous, like right now, so here's, here's my thoughts on Black Friday. It's going to be Black Friday right away. And some companies are already having Black Friday pre-sales. Planners Anonymous was one of them. And I think Black Friday stuff is starting like right away. It's like tomorrow or maybe, I don't know. I think it's next weekend, isn't it? I went to town. I didn't go to town town. <laughs> I went to just one town. Um, <laughs> I purchased some sticker books that I already have, so none of them are new, but they were 50% off. And I believe that's what the sale will be for everybody else as well. That's if you're a subscriber. So the early sale was for subscribers. 50% off is, is really, really good. Okay, so anyway, I went and did that. So I've got some extra sticker books and I'm going to be using some of those for January. So I won't tell you now, but yeah, I'm super excited about it. And I'm going to be using three different sticker books, three different kits. Um, that kind of really go together. So I'm also waiting. Oh, I did place a Franklin order. It will be coming, like it's already shipped as of today. I think it'll be shipped. Um, I ordered a weekly insert pack. I ordered a day on two page and I ordered um, a monthly. So um, in my business planner, I use monthlies to track my stats because I find it's the most convenient. So I did that again, even though I have to punch it for discs as well as for like rings because rings are, it's already punched for rings or already got, they already have holes in them. Um, but I punch for discs and I haven't had any issue and I was looking at cloth and paper and Jane's agenda and I just didn't like the layouts that were in the monthlies that they sold. So I decided to go back with Franklin for that. So, um, I will share that haul when it comes, but, uh, yeah, I'm not, I didn't buy a binder or anything. So, um, I do have my eye on one binder, but I will be waiting till the new year till March, I think, um, till tax refund season. So yeah. So anyway, that is, that's what I did there. Um, and then cloth and paper, I want to buy the 2024 year overview, but I'm waiting to see if they have a Black Friday sale as well. If I just get the one year overview, of course, that's for this planner because I really like it. So speaking of, I'm just going to go to goals and show you what it looks like. So this is what it is. It comes punched for disc, for junior disc punch, which would be perfect for my work planner. But I don't like this one in my work planner. I have a jeans agenda one for that. Um, this one is the one I prefer in this planner. So this is what I'll be using again, because I like it so much. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to wait for that. 
um, I guess I could make my own, but it just wouldn't be quite the same. So I'm just going to, I'm just going to wait for them. And it, it ends up being like $30 of shipping in like in Canadian. So it's not too bad. Um, I just, I really, I really do enjoy this, this insert. So, um, and I'll do the same thing. Like I washi tape it and then I punch it for rings so that it, you know, it's sturdy and it's not going to fall out. Um, what else? Let's go to goals and then we'll talk about that. But, um, my husband gave me some bad news this morning. He got into his car and he said he must have left everything open without realizing it last night because somebody broke in or they didn't have to break in. They just walked in. They stole his change. They rifled through all of his documents in his glove compartment. The compartment is broken. And they took the air compressor that was in his trunk. So um, he's pretty bummed about that right now. And it's kind of unfortunate because, you know, we've had a lot of bad things happen this year. It hasn't been an easy year. I mean, a lot of people have had it rough this year, but with interest rates going up and you know, income not really going up and cost of food and cost of living. And that's just like the cherry on top of our situation. We've had a lot of things. So anyway, then, um, was it yesterday? I woke up sick. So I'm not sure if you can really tell in my voice, but my nasal area is all like really cloudy and fuzzy and kind of feels like under pressure. So it feels like it's a little painful and I've been sneezing and it's one of those colds that's going to work its way through. My daughter just got through one. She's on day like 10 of being sick and it's surprising. So me and my son, Logan, so Logan, who's a baby, he has cystic fibrosis. He's also sick. So the night before last, he was coughing. So I did percussions on him a lot yesterday and I think he's, I haven't heard him cough since. So that's good. Um, but his nose is running. He's not feeling well. He had like I had a bit of a te of temperature last night. He had a bit of a temperature. So um, we're just not overly feeling well right now. We're not doing so well. Um, and plus our immune systems are down. Like at least me and my, me and my husband's are because we, um, you know, we don't get very much sleep. And then yesterday I was cooking pork chops. I was making, it was really good. I mean, pork chops. Um, I, fr I sauteed the pork chops and then I baked them in mushroom gravy and I make mashed potatoes and I made corn last night. Sometimes I make green beans, but I didn't realize how hot the oil was in the pan. So I always go um, half olive oil and then half butter to increase the um, the temperature because um, olive oil has a higher temperature increase. So it, you know, it gets really, really hot and butter is for flavor. And I burnt myself. <laughs> it splashed up and I don't know if I have Vaseline on it right now. Um, but I have, this is probably the worst burn I've ever had in my life. Little one there, but this is the bad one. I actually have blisters and I've never burnt myself like this before. Usually it was just like red for a little bit and then that's it. This, the pain yesterday lasted for 45 minutes. I had a cold compress on it the entire time and it hurt so bad. Um, so I'm just gonna, you know, watch for infection and just make sure that I'm going to keep it moisturized so it doesn't like burst open and get dried out or hurt extra. So I'm going to put polysporin on it in the next day or two. But for now, it's just petroleum jelly. So anyway, we've had a fabulous start to the week. Because <laughs> remember, our week started Wednesday because my son was on holiday. Okay, let's review goals for November so far. So my mom, her birthday was on, oh yeah, my mom was sick too. So I think she got sick for my daughter. My mom got really sick and she was still sick, but she came over yesterday. So we gave her her present, but her birthday was on Tuesday. She couldn't go anywhere. She was so sick. So she stayed home. My nephew, or my nephew, my niece, Alora, her birthday is today. So I'm going to give them a call. Um, my mom's dentist appointment on this day is canceled because apparently it didn't exist. So now she's put it for the for December sometime, unless they have an earlier cancellation. Black Friday is kind of happening. I didn't do a sale, so I'm just going to cross it off. I, I didn't have time for a sale. Um, I haven't done any of this other stuff yet. Um, yeah, nothing. And I'm still working on Outlander. I'm almost done. I am almost done. I've been reading for about 15 minutes a day. So I've been trying to get back that habit. Okay. And then we'll also check out the monthly. I do have monthly goals. 
Um, but they're pretty much the same as everything else as the previous one. So, um, there's, I'll just cross that off. So yeah, nothing really, nothing really crazy to report. Okay. Review compass card. Okay. Water. Nope. I'm so dehydrated. Letter to Tressa. Nope. Journal, yes. Moon magic, nope. Percussions, nope. Show more affection. Honestly, have I? I don't really know. We've been cuddling, so I mean, that counts. We've been cuddling at night while watching our show when we can. Help with crochet, I gave her help. Roast beef supper, I did. Bookshelf, I didn't because she was sick the day I was going to go over, but she saw us yesterday and she's coming over again today. So CEO, New Year poll, I did not. December goals I'm doing tomorrow. Sticker design note and edit all vids I did not. Makeup organization, cleaning schedule, at Facebook buy and sell, commonplace book. So it's kind of like a big failure this week, guys. <laughs> yeah. yeah, no, I I haven't. Again, my cup is, is not full right now. <laughs> it's been a rough one. It really has. So Okay, so now we need to do new rolls and big rocks. So we're going to make a new card. Um, I just realized I did not put a new new one in here. So this is the last one. So if I don't remember until next time, then I guess I'll be filling it next time. Okay, so what I'm going to do is highlight my sections here. I don't know if I'll use everything. I'm, I don't really want to push myself because I am sick right now and I don't know how long this cold's going to last. So I'm not going to like overdo it this week. I'm just going to make it really simple for myself. But I will fast forward this and we'll talk about it in a minute. made it really simple and I, I didn't fill this one in because this bugged me here. So for myself, I'm going to try to drink a lot more water because I think that will make me feel better. Um, get more sleep because that'll definitely make me feel better. Read, like focus on reading and focus on journaling. Journaling I always get done, but reading I haven't been reading that much. But I would love to just curl up on the couch and read a book and get all cozy, maybe have a tea or something. You know, I want to do that. Um, percussions, I want to focus on that. Maybe swimming this weekend. I don't know if Chad is working. He said there was talk of them working, but they're not sure. So I got to find out. Home, um, organize my makeup. I really want to do that. Clean bathrooms and clean the floor. So that's another thing I really want to get done. And maybe um, my daughter, um, Connor and Danica's bed. I did my bedding yesterday. I do my baby's bedding every day because he usually pays the bed in the morning. Um, but my daughter's bedding needs to be washed. Okay, and then for my business, I'm going to do my New Year poll, my goals for December, um, and actually maybe start working on um, my prep work because honestly, I feel like I'm. it's early still, but I need to start filming those videos so they're ready. So Like that's a lot of work, but I should probably start doing that. Um, actually write my business journal, clean my desk, and edit all videos. So I think that's sufficient. Um, it's stuff I need to do anyway, but it's kind of low-key so that I can do on my own time and it's not like pressured to like, you know, to get it done. So I'm glad I have this list feels good for me. Okay, so now let's um calendar. Hmm. Schedule week. So first we have to examine the inbox calendar and the master tasks. So I haven't added anything to the inbox yet. Um, I do want to go through the toys again, though. 
Okay, so yeah, so nothing really new here. I am probably going to wait for the new year, but I'll probably write new one of these out because I don't want the same one in here. Um, and then I'll really go through and be like, is this really important right now? Is this really necessary? So I won't waste one right now, though, but I have crossed off quite a few things. So, um, so yeah, so just those couple of things on here. Um, my son kind of cleaned his own room the other day. He was getting tired of it, and I'm like, well, it's your room, <laughs> so you need to clean it. <laughs> okay, so the schedule, the 20th to the 26th, so let's see. So this is cancelled. Okay, so it'll be budget on the 22nd, early dismissal, pay bills, and garbage and recycle. And then groceries on the Sunday, and that's it. Um, I put swimming on here tentatively because I'm not sure if my husband's working or not. They said maybe, maybe one day. He's not sure. It'll probably be like a last minute thing, but nothing, um, nothing crazy on my calendar. Like no doctor's appointments, no, you know, no commitments. So that means I can work on my business and, you know, stay at home with my kids except for taking my son to school, that kind of thing. Um, okay. And then master tasks. So I really have to cut my son's hair. I'm going to try to make plan like Christmas planner charms, like between today and tomorrow, I'm going to try working on that so that I can focus more a few, like just, even if it's a few stickers, I haven't got any new Christmas designs out at all. And I wanted to, and I just never did. And I'm kind of bummed about that because I love designing for Christmas. I think Christmas is so much fun, but we'll see how it goes. Okay, so then um, another place I could look is just like the week, like the, like the current week that we're in, just looking at the master task. I had a lot of things on here, and so I'm probably not going to um, carry all of them over for this week because, frankly, I am getting tired of seeing them. <laughs> So, there's a few things I did anyway. Yeah. Yeah, but we'll see. If Chad's home, I can maybe get my makeup done. All right. So now it's time to, to plan. So I'm going to do my planning itself, and then I'm also going to do my work as well at the same time. I just realized because this week is the 20th to the 26th and then this one is the first week into December already. So I'll be filming this, like I'll be doing this before my actual December planner comes out, but then I'll transfer this week to my December binder, obviously. So I might, I don't know if I'll decorate that as right, like Christmas or if I'll decorate it as like um, November. I don't know. Maybe I'll decorate it as Christmas because we actually have to get a tree. Like we like um, setting up our tree and decorating on the first. So I got to plan that and it kind of works out because if my husband is home here, this is when we would do like all of that, which is perfect. If he's home, hopefully he is. We, you know, buy the tree Friday night or buy the tree Saturday um, probably buy it Friday night because then we can just let it sit, you know, and then the branches can relax and then we can start decorating on the weekend. I think that'll be so fun. Okay, so let's take this out and we're going to plan. Got lots to do, so I got to hurry. <laughs> I always take my time when it comes to planning because it's like my favorite part. Without further ado, let's get into this.
Alright guys, so I am all done planning. I just wanted to quickly run through this with you before I had to go. So um, it doesn't look any different than any other week, but the one thing that's new on here is I want to start doing my Cultivate What Matters prep work. So again, those videos won't post until closer to the end of December, but I just need to get that done now because um, come December, I'll be doing plan mess. So I'll be planning every single day for that current day. And that's going to mess me up a little bit because I currently plan the night before. So I'm prepared for the next day. And I feel like if I plan that next day, I don't feel prepared. The only other way to, to get around that is to plan for the next day, the night before. So I would have to film the video at night. And honestly, that doesn't usually work for me. I usually um, I'm usually too busy or the kids are stay up too late or I have no relaxation time in the evening. So I think it would be best if I did it in the morning. Um, and yeah, it's, it's going to throw me off a little bit because yeah. And I'm not sure if I can actually get the videos edited before 10. I could try. Like, I mean, if that's my only plan, if that's my job, <laughs> um, in the morning, I could start planning at five. The video might be 15, 20 minutes, you know, unless I talk a lot, which hopefully I don't, um, 15, 20 minutes, and then I could try to edit it right after, and then I still haven't posted that day for 10. So like the videos, if I did that, the videos would be so current because it would literally be that day filming. And yeah, we'll have to see. I don't know how it's going to work out yet, but maybe I'll play with that and see. But anyway, so prep work starting. Um, editing my December video, which I will do tomorrow. I've got two makeup videos. So I've got the Makeup by Mario Ethereal Eyes look on Monday. And then Thursday, I've got the Anastasia Beverly Hills Cosmo palette. Um, and it's a gunmetal gray look, and it's really cool. Um, I'll be filming, potentially waking up early Wednesday to film another makeup look, and then hopefully doing another one on the weekend. Um, Friday, I want to be able to edit the rest of my makeup videos to get caught up. So the um, in order to stay organized, especially going into December and doing Plymouth, the key to that is to stay organized and on top of my videos. So, you know, whether I do Plymouth in December, I still have to do my weekly video setup. I still have to do the like the monthly setup, which is just one video. Thank goodness. Um, I still have to do. Um, still have to do my makeup videos. I still have to do my goal video, right? Like, so there's still lots of things. Um, and, and still my, like my stationary stuff too. Speaking of stationary, I haven't done this yet, but I have picked up a few things for Christmas, um, for stationary stuff. Did you guys want to see a haul before you see my planner set up? I need to know <laughs> because if you want to see a haul, I can do that this weekend. Um, I do have quite a few things that are really cute. I still have something coming. Um, but if you want to see a haul before I actually do the official planner setup, then that way I could just tell you what everything is from in that video. And it'll be a lot easier. Um, I'll probably still say it in the video, my plan with me video, but just, you know, just so you guys have a better idea. So let me know, because I know there are some people who really like those videos where, you know, I show all of the things, all the goodies that I got. So let me know what you want to see. Um, I'm just going, the sticker was crooked and it was bugging me and then it kind of got destroyed. So I'm just putting it back on and gluing it because I destroyed it a little bit. Oops, that did not work. Okay. Um, 
trying to think if there's anything else. I don't think so. I put this here twice because I haven't started it and I want to. It's like a goal for me to do. So I have to do that. And then maybe also do a daily IG reel. So I have these here, but I don't have like a daily. I haven't done a reel in a really long time, like a planning one. And I figured I won't be doing that. I guess technically I could still do that. In December, I would have to take snatches of my video. Like I would have to take bits of my YouTube video and put it together and edit it for my um for my IG. So I, I could still do that. If I was just thinking I wouldn't be able to do that in December, but maybe just a little bit extra work. So anyway, so that's work. And let's go to my my main planner. So this is what my week work looks like. So I did make a point of only putting home stuff in this planner. And I don't know how I feel about that. So like with me, I don't have like, I mean, you guys have seen like I've tried to include my work stuff in one planner and it just didn't fit. So I've migrated to two separate planners again. Like I, I used to have two separate Franklin binders for my one was business, one was home. And I really like the jeans agenda system I have going, so I will be carrying that through to the new year. But I I made it a point of only putting home stuff in here except for tidying desk. I did not put any work stuff in here. Um, and I don't know how I feel about that. <laughs> because sometimes like my, my parts of my planner has work stuff and some doesn't. Like my daily, like I, I have a month or two of the Jane's Agenda daily sheets in my work planner and I don't use them because I don't want to have two planners open on my desk at all times. My work planner, I plan for the week and then I use that as a reference because I don't have room for all that extra stuff in this planner. So like my statistics, my financial stuff, I don't have room for that in here. So all of that stays in a different, different planner. But really, all of this stuff is more reference, right? Like I don't, I'm not in it every day. So, well, no, let me rephrase that. I'm in it every day. I'm just not it doesn't stay open on my desk 24 seven unless I'm working on a project. So for example, um, if it's my stats day, I'm in it for about an hour in the morning on the first. So like I'll write down all of my statistics, my financials, that kind of thing. Um, you'll see me in it for like the 20 minutes where I'm planning in it, right? For the week. Um, if I'm doing sticker design, I'll look at my idea reference page. If I'm doing a blog, I've got an area in here where I write my blog schedule. Um, this was for 2023. Not all of it, of course, because it started here at July. But um, actually, no. Oh, yeah. No, this was like 2022. And then 2023. So I'm going to start a new page for the next year. So, yeah, this one here, which actually... I need to write one because I have one for January 1st. Okay. And then, so the next one is January 8th, I believe. So anyway, um, I've got ideas in here, like blog ideas that I wrote out. So sometimes I'll come in here and highlight them off like that. Um, but it's more of a reference. So I'll look at it like I'll have a blog post creator and I'll write down ideas here. Um, but yeah, it's really more of a reference. And then I have, yeah, just, I don't know, like goals and stuff. So it's more of a reference binder. Whereas this one this is my reference for the week for my home life and for my son's school and anything to do with my household, my family. Um, but then on the daily pages is where I go to town with business, home and personal. So um, this is the planner that I look at. Uh, this stays open on my desk all day. And then at nighttime, I'm finished, crossed everything off or migrated it. And then the next day or that, that night, I plan for the next day. Like tonight, I'll plan for tomorrow. And then I move my weekly compass card to Friday and then I close my binder because that signifies to me that I'm done my work for the day. I'm done. I can put it away and now I can go relax. Um, and then 
the next morning I crack it open again and start fresh and then it stays open literally on my desk all day and then I cross off tasks as I go so I just um yeah I don't know I just uh I, f I find it hard like I, I do I find it hard to keep everything separate um it doesn't make sense to keep it separate on this page because I don't want to have to look in two different you know two different planners for my task list for my work and task list for my home it would be different if I actually had an outside job um and then it would make sense to either keep this at home or you know I think it would be a little bit harder because then you don't have easy reference like you'd have to lug both planners with you if you had a separate work planner for an outside job but anyway so that's my take on things <laughs> I have to go I have to go because my kids are about to wake up or they need to for school at 7 30 um but thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and watching how i plan for yet another week again this is technically the last full week of november so next week i'm pretty sure i'm just wondering i'm pretty sure i might just plan in christmas deco because i don't want december 1st to be non-christmasy doesn't make any sense to me so I might plan with Christmas deco and then once my Christmas binder is set up I'll transfer that week into my Christmas binder my December binder I'm calling it my Christmas binder so don't get me wrong I have a Franklin um, Christmas setup because you know I like to decorate every month and kind of plan according to the season or the holiday but my I do have a separate Christmas planner um, I'll show you that So this is my dedicated actual Christmas planner. I added some of my little charms on there. Isn't it so cute? Um, and this is specifically planning for Christmas. So like all of the Christmas cards, I don't need to rewrite that list and put it, um, you know, into my Franklin um, kind of plans for the next couple of months, right? Like what we're doing, um, any festivities that we have, any get togethers, um, all the Christmas shopping, oops, all the Christmas shopping that I have. So anything like that goes in here. I've got a notepad, um, my Christmas countdown. So this planner starts technically November, but I haven't really filled out much because there's not really much to fill out. Some of these stickers I'll probably use on my planner as well. Um, these are the ones I printed, but I have to cut them with scissors because I didn't cut them on my Cricut. Um, but yeah, so this is my dedicated Christmas planner, like specific for Christmas. So like, like I said, spending, planning, um, and then any like holiday plans I write in here, of course, on the specific days I transfer them to my Franklin. So, but yeah, so that is it for this plan with me. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, if you did, please give the video a thumbs up. If you're new, please consider subscribing. I would love to have you join my channel. Um, we're going into a fresh new year pretty soon. It's going to be kind of exciting. I have a lot of videos in December, so I'll just state that right now. Um, plan miss is December 1st to December 25th. Okay, that's the last day of plan miss because it's like Christmas. And then from the 26th to the end of the year, I have all of my setup videos. So if I have lots, I think I've already established my December schedule. Let's see here. Let's see. I have my, oops, my monthly is at the beginning. That's November. This is December. So you can see a lot of, I used tiny YouTube icons. I created those. I made them. Um, I've got a lot of different videos. So on the Saturday, I will have two. I think I've, I needed to have two. I can't just do one. Um, so I'll have a separate daily plan because I still have to plan daily, right? I'm not going to do that in the weekly video because it'll be way too long. So then if you guys don't want to watch both, you don't have to. Um, but yeah, it's going to be very busy. I'm going to be so busy. I didn't realize how busy, but anyway, um, so Saturday we'll have two videos posting because technically I filmed that plan with me on the Thursday morning. So I'll have to figure out how to do that. Um, I'll still have all my makeup videos going and I'll probably do a whole bunch of Christmas, uh, hopefully like Christmas um, makeup looks for that month. Um, 
And then yes, as of the 26th, so I'm going to be doing the Maker's Yearbook. So this is like a business planner that I purchased online. It's a printable, um, but I'll talk about that. Um, then there's a biz planner set up. So I'm going to show you how I've, you know, I'm going to actually set up my business planner with you guys. And then my Cultivate What Matters January goals. So what I did with my prep work, actually I lied because I said they'd all be at the end of the, the the month but because there's so many usually I did a cultivate what matters prep work one two three and four and if I have a fifth I'll probably put it on the 22nd or something like that um I don't know how much I'll have like I'll just have to see I try to have videos about 25 to 30 minutes um and I try to time it like that so we'll see but I'll, I will post those starting December 12th so if you guys want to know dates and then so January goals will be on the 28th and then the yearly setup Franklin. So plans, ideas, and your goals. So that's going to be like its own video. So it won't be the January monthly setup. Um, the monthly might be a little bit shorter because I'll talk about the planner itself that I've set up in the yearly setup. Well, maybe not. I mean, this will already have been done. It's just going to be extremely busy. Like December is going to be a hard month for me because I still have kids. <laughs> okay. And then the 31st is the first plan with me. Um, but then January will be my classic setup. So I'll post that on the 30th. And then I think the first, I don't even know if I put that on here. Um, the first of January will probably be my compact. Um, I don't really have any plans, like new plans. It's not going to be like a brand new setup or anything. It's just going to, I'll probably switch binders because right now I'm in my um, vintage Aurora Blue Mirage binder for November, December for my compact. Um, and right now for November, anyway, my compact is very fall-ish looking. And then I'm going to switch uh, my, some dashboards to make it look more winter festive for December. So I'll post that video too. You guys will see that the end of November as well, or maybe, yeah, beginning of December, sorry. Um, but for January, I'll switch binders again. And what else? Um, yeah, oh, here it is. So for month reintroduction. Okay, so January, it's going to be busy because uh, Budget Mom, Budget Book Setup, 2024 January 2024 set up for a month reintroduction so January 1st I'll have my budget book set up okay and then we're going to be doing budget videos again probably most likely um, but I'll also have to do compact so my compact video will probably be January 2nd so I will have a lot of videos in December and into the first day couple days of January so I hope that um, kind of brings this video to a conclusion. So if you guys had any questions about my plans for December, there they are. All in black and white and red. <laughs> so, all right. And then, yeah, we'll talk more about January and about what that looks like. But I will be bringing budgeting things back, I think. So if you like to budget, I will have it back. And we've got some things to talk about because we've had an interesting financial year this year. So, um yeah. And um, thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate your the value that you bring to my channel. If it wasn't for you guys, probably wouldn't be here. <laughs> so thank you guys again, and we will see you next week. Bye, friends.